All right, as a, as a test the effects of fenders. We got the test car. We're gonna rip through three runs without fenders, then three runs with fenders. Here we go, first run. Sorry about the film job. 3035. All right, run number two. Three oh three three. All right, run number three, and then after this, we'll put the fenders on. Three oh three two. So two nine up to. All right, we're back. I just installed some fenders. These are fenders you buy right off the website, DerbyDabForHire.com. They are already shaped and ready to go. We'll tell you this: fenders on all my cars have sped me up. But the trick is you have to do them right. If you don't do them right, um, they're not gonna not gonna do you any good. Anyway, all right, let's uh, get down here. Let me get the starter. We'll do a first fender run. Hold on, I gotta reset the timer. I didn't tape them on too good. They're just double sided tape. I hope they hold. We could see a spectacular wreck, maybe. All right, here we go. Three, oh, two, four. All right, you guys, second round with the fenders on. I did realize that, um, you know, this is, let's see, how many runs? This is the 12th run, or 11th, 12th run on the car. No graphite was added, so that's why it was slowing down from the previous, from the, uh, went from the aerodynamic test. Let's see what it does here. Three oh two nine. Still slightly faster. My guess would have been five thousandths. So. Let's do one more. Right, third and final run with the fenders. Three oh two four. I think that um, is somewhat conclusive there. So we have we vary from five thousandths to a hundredth of a second in speed. All right. One other thing we need to check. Let's just see how much. The fenders made a gain weight. It was 467 without them. So 4.80. All right, we're going to try something here. Hold on, I'm going to reweight the car to get 4.80. We're going to run without fenders. Hold on one second. All right, took the fenders off. We're back to 4.67. I'm going to get some tungsten putty and uh, see if we can get it to 480. Wow, that was that. Well, that's it. All right. Hold on one second. Sorry for the jerk. I'm trying to break this tungsten. Putty. Four point eight one seven nine. Let me get half of this. It's hard to do with one hand. Hold on, I'm gonna set the camera down. Don't get sick. Okay, here we are, 480. I'm gonna put the tungsten. We'll put it about where the fenders were. And uh, I'll turn this thing over. The fenders would have weighed it about right here. So we'll stick it right there to equal fenders. I'm gonna put this on, we'll set it up for the final run. Give me a second. All right, I got it weighted. I put it about where the fenders would weigh, and I got it real flat. 
We'll set this thing up here. I'm trying to stage it exactly the same way each time so we get a good test. All right, we'll just film it from down from this angle. Ah, oh, crud, I can't reach it. Hold on one second. All right, I'm gonna come down here. All righty. Here we go. No fenders. Weighed it up to 4.80 like the car weighed with the fenders. Three oh three one. There's your conclusive evidence, and that tells you just you know tells you something about weighting also. So fenders done correctly equal more speed. If you add front fenders in, I guarantee you get even uh, probably three more thousandths. So two two and five thousandths more. So I think a four fender car is usually about a hundredth faster. Anyway, DerbyDadForHire.com. Get the right kind of fenders. Trust me. You got to cut them the right way and you got to shape them the right way or they will kill you. All right, you guys. Say goodbye to the test car. We'll have to create another one because it's got to go to school. Don't forget DerbyDadForHire.com, the leader in Pinewood Derby.